Good morning, everybody. Ah, summertime. Don't you love it? You know, you have these nice warm days. Then the rains come during the evening and the nighttime. Perfect timing. Then the sun comes out again and you feel like you're in a sauna. Ah. Hey, that's what it's like in the summer. And I do love it. And I think you do too. Uh, I don't know about your house. Ours is starting to go a little crazy. All the Medina grandkids are at the house right now. The Wisconsin grandkids are going to be here. And then the Rochester grandkids will be coming over to see them. You know what I'm going to do? See that nice little sunny spot right there? I'm going to pitch myself a tent and stay there for the next couple days. Smart, smart. Hey, it's fun having them. It's fun to entertain them and throw them in the swimming pool and let them have their fun. And it's interesting with that happening now, and it's happening not just in our house, but in a lot of houses all over the place. Families starting to move around a little bit, getting to see each other, haven't been able to for a couple months. And uh, still have to stay safe, though. Still be safe about it. Be smart. Um, it's all about welcoming family. And our gospel lesson talks a little bit about welcoming people. Uh, Jesus is at the very end of his little speech on what it means to go out and be an apostle and share the good news of the kingdom. And uh, he talks about welcoming. He talks about a very important part of their society, hospitality. You know, hospitality means you welcome the stranger. You welcome the outsider. You welcome the foreigner. You welcome the down and out. You take care of them. You take care of them. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be taking care of all our families coming through. But it's more than just family. It's about all those other groups. The outsiders, the foreigners, the down and outers. Those are the ones we are called to welcome. Specifically, our gospel says that when you go out and are welcomed into someone's home, you who are carrying the gospel, you're just, you're just not going and saying, hey, uh, here, here's the gospel message, Jesus loves you. No, when you go, you are going with Jesus. You are going as Jesus. Now you might say, no, that's not what it says. Take a second look at our text from Matthew this week. If they receive you, they receive me, Jesus said. And if they receive me, they receive my Father in heaven. Whoa! See, we're not just carrying a message. We are carrying Jesus himself to other people when we go out. And yes, it's this is a passage that's kind of going both ways. Are you the welcoming one? Are you the one going out and who is being welcomed? You know, it, it's it's kind of all over the place. But the point is, we embody Christ to others. So you can't say, "Do as I say and not as I do." <laughs> You can't say, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what I'm supposed to tell you. No, you are the message. You embody the very love of Jesus as you go out into the world. Oh, wow. It puts a whole new twist on things, doesn't it? So no longer do I just have to try to say and act and do the right things. Oh, come on. We're going to make mistakes. We're human. Uh, we're not going to be perfect, but that's not an excuse that we make to try to get out of being Jesus to others in the world. So filled with his love that when they look at us, they say, aha, that's what it's like to be a Christian. That's what it's like to be a Jesus follower. That must be what Jesus is like. Hey, I'm beginning to like it out here more and more. And 
What do you think? Good spot for my tent? Ah, I'm going to stay in the house with the grandkids. Have a great day. God bless you. And enjoy the weekend.